ensure rights are recognized both in law and practice to define clearly how women can access assets, endowments, and decision-making spaces. There are also cultural issues and traditional issues uh, within Olmsted that have to be taken on board uh, when we're actually uh, designing a development program that should benefit of women's uh, capacities. Investment in training and capacities of women and other underrepresented and often marginalized groups is key so people are actually able to operationalize rights and gain agency to be able to act on these rights. There are opportunities within communities for asset building and of course improving, for instance, improving community organizations such as support through women's savings group uh, that really help um, create uh, assets uh, that are, of course, helping um, communities uh, to be better off uh, in terms of livelihoods and in terms of, of course, building their own education. Consider women engagement in decision making not as a token but as a right in itself also because inclusive practices that target women and men are more efficient solutions to address today's development challenges. Let's include men uh, in women empowerment because uh, what we find out from uh, experiences, women uh, want uh, their men to succeed if all families have to succeed.